to pick up my driver's license. I don't know exactly where this place is at. I know my husband said to go towards the welcome center and then it should be on the right. So I don't know if you guys could see through, but I'm guessing that's the building over there. I don't know. We're gonna find out. This low key looks like a prison. I see a door. Okay, I know this is extremely creepy. I passed like the entire building and I didn't see anyone. So I finally saw a guy. I asked him and he said that I need to go to him. But after lunch, what time is it? It's 11.40 and lunch ends at 12.40. So since I'm obviously walking, it's a cold walk. So I'm just gonna stay here for one hour. Yay. And I finally got my driver's license. How do you freaking open this door? Oh. All right guys, I am now home. So I wanted to show you guys really quick the website where you would go to take your driver's test. This is the website right here and it is called JKO. You can search this up on Google, just put JKO. So this is what it looks like. If you are in the service, then you obviously have a CAC card. However, if you are a dependent, then you would probably press click here. And there is a huge process. So what you have to do is enter your sponsor's information, including their email. And then they're gonna be sending an email to your sponsor sponsor i entered my husband's information they sent him an email pretty much for him to accept then a jko sends me an email letting me know that i've been approved or something like that and then it gives me a token id so what i have to do is go back to the website and do this entire thing where i enter my token id it then gives you a username and a password so i did create mine and do keep in mind that that token is only good for 24 hours so if you don't log back into jko within 24 hours then you have to let them know that you need a new token and then they send you an email. I'm not gonna lie, those emails will take so long and I know that because I didn't use my token within the 24 hours, I had to ask for a new token all over again. So once it allows you in, this is basically how it's gonna look. So what you want to do is go to course catalog. So in order to take the exam, you do have to do the training program. Once I was able to pass that one, I went in to take the real exam. This one also took so long because there's a little bit of steps that you have to do before you take the actual exam. So when you are taking these courses, it does tell you that you have to print out your certificates. I actually didn't print mine out. They already know that you passed. So you would basically just go to the building and let them know that you already took the exam. You give them your ID and you do need your state driver's license as well and a debit card to pay for your driver's license, which was only $20. So there is another thing that I have to do and I'm actually gonna drive to this because I already got my driver's license. So since being here, I haven't gone to the health clinic and that's something that I really need to do just to get familiar and also find out who my provider is. So I'm gonna go over there right now just to ask a few questions. All right guys, it is now the next day and for today, okay, it is 2 p.m. Meaning there is just about two and a half hours until it gets dark. I really wanna take advantage of those two hours and I, I am super nervous right now and excited because I am gonna try and drive off post. Okay, I almost uh, don't have any extra bags. So they don't give out any bags. So I am trying to look for just a regular plastic bag, but I am not having any luck. So what I'm gonna do is just take one of my backpacks. Here we go. We gotta keep the booty warm. This is the way towards one of the exits and I made it. Okay, so I am now off post. That was really, really fast. Now I, ooh, I don't think I remember what way to go. So we're about to find out. You guys, that took like probably two minutes to get here. Oh my goodness, I never realized how close it was. All right, so right across Aldi is Neto, which is another store that I like. But for now, I'm gonna go with this one. This is Aldi, and then right behind Aldi is Etika. I showed you guys Etika on my last vlog. But usually when I do one, I do the other one as well. Oh God. Now back in Etika and you guys requested another video of me trying these items. So I'm really not familiar with a lot of these. What I'm just going to do is pick out whatever I think looks good. And yeah, we'll see. There's a sauce that I have been obsessed with. And I think... Okay, it's this one right here. This is the curry ketchup extra hot. It's honestly not even expensive. It's one euro 29. I have been obsessed with this. This is like so different. Like it's so hard to explain it, but it's like sweet and spicy. And then it's just like the perfect sauce. And then also for like my sausages. I love it. I love it with it. It's really weird, but it's bomb.com.
You guys, I just bought my first aloe vera plant ever. This was only it's like 350. Anyways, and that is the store that I got it from. Right now I'm gonna go into Rossman. So it is time for me to go back home. I've been gone for quite some time that it's getting dark already. Oh my gosh, does it feel good? to know that I did it, that I went off post, that I have a driver's license, that I am driving in Germany by myself. I'm glad that I made it safe. There was one point where I was actually driving away from Grafenbeer, like I thought that the second plaza that I went to, that it was a specific way. So I decided to go that way. And then I see a sign that has that little cross over Grafenbeer and then it said going to press it. And I'm like, oh no, I got scared right away. So I just had to wait wait until like the next exit so i made a u-turn and then i went another different route and that's how i finally found that second plaza which i have been to that one with phoenix before and i liked it so i'm glad i found it for the rest of the day i'm basically just going to be organizing and cleaning all right guys it is now the next day so there's something that i want to mention and it's this little thingy surprisingly i got a few messages asking me where did i get this and honestly i diy this myself it's just a mirror and a pop socket like i'm sure by now everyone knows what a pop socket is if you don't then I would honestly be impressed and then this little mirror is just a plain simple mirror that I got in the makeup section in a drugstore and obviously the pop socket is a little bit more if you get the pop sockets in the store they're a little bit more expensive they're like 10 to 15 dollars but if you get these on Amazon you could get these really really cheap that's usually where I get all of my pop sockets and also there's something that I do want to mention that my little sister taught me and that is that, that the pop socket will be a lot a lot more stronger if you add a little bit of water to it so if you have owned a pop socket and put it on the back of your phone and it has fallen and now you no longer trust them i understand i get you i'm with you i was there too but really all i had to do was add a tiny bit of water and honestly after you do that they are so hard for these to come off so there you go a super super easy two-step diy so i also told you guys that i was gonna be filming a video of a part two of me trying german snacks now i will be filming that tomorrow however for now i wanted to eat something with you guys and it's these madeleines and these are not necessary from germany they're actually made in France but I bought them here so I want to give these a try I've been staring at them and ooh, oh my goodness they smell so good mm -hmm. no I mean, I'm actually starving right now, so these kind of taste decent. But I have tried Madeleines before, and this is not compare. Don't get me wrong, I will still eat this entire pack. All right, guys, I am going to end this video right here. I do hope you guys stay tuned for my next video. I am going to be trying a bunch of new German snacks that I have never tried before. I do want to give out a shout-out, and today's shout-out goes out to Roxanne McCoy. So, Roxanne, thank you for being part of this beautiful YouTube channel. And if any one of you guys will also like a shout-out, all you have to do is make sure to be subscribed and comment anything you're big old heart desires i love you guys all hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you are not subscribed to join the raya family and i will see you guys soon bye guys